Very good morning to you. Let's get into our news bulletin, the latest one we have for you. The ANC has instructed its Provincial Working Committee to decide on the fate of two KwaZulu-Natal mayors today who've been arrested in connection with political killings. Harry Gwala Mayor, Muleki Ndobe and three others will apply for bail in connection with the murder of former ANC Youth League Secretary General Sindiso Magaka at the Mzumkulu Magistrates Court. On Friday, Newcastle Mayor... Ntutuko Mshlaba was arrested for murder and will also appear in court today. For the latest, on the line we have our reporter Simpiwe Makaya. Simpiwe, talk to us about what we can expect in court today. Well, a very good morning to you, Leanne, and good morning to Sakina, as well as well as our viewers at home. We are coming to you live from Emadadeni Magistrate's Court here in Newcastle, ahead, of course, of that court appearance of a high-ranking ANC official who is accused of uh, killing Wandi Lengubeni, who was the then uh, Deputy uh, Regional Secretary of the ANC here in, at the Emalacheni region. The region, uh, Rene, has had a number of challenges uh, of divisions. We will recall that at some point the offices of the ANC in the region were torched, allegedly uh, by some youth league members. But I'm not going to waste time, Leanne. I'm going to now try and speak to the ANC chairperson in the Emalacheni region. Uh, Mr. Senzo Kumalo to take us through uh, about some of the issues that are uh, plaguing this region. Mr. Kumalo, thank you very much for your time. Why is this region experiencing this crisis? Uh, this region comes from a very difficult uh, past where else there have been divisions in the movement. While the Youth League was trying to build from there, apparently there was a lot of friction between the ANC and the Youth League which has led us to, I think, the day we are in court today. With regards to this uh, high court, uh, this, this uh, court appearance today, we believe that a high-ranking ANC official is due to appear today. The ANC provincially has stated that those who are implicated in murder must be recalled from their positions. Is this going to perhaps uh, save the ANC? We support the statement very much, which was issued by the ANC Youth League, and ultimately even the ANC officials at the national level did say that those who are implicated or who are accused in these cases should recuse themselves from the deployment and from leading the organization. Their membership should be suspended until they clear themselves in court. So I think in this case... Uh, although, unfortunately, we cannot name the suspect before he appears in court, although it has been much on social media and in media in general about who's the suspect. But I think in this case, it will help since the region of what is happening and the, possibly the political killings of, of what has been happening in the region. The, the youth in this region, uh, Mr. Kumalo, has been accused of causing divisions. At some point, you'd recall that uh, some actually accused you guys of touching the ANC offices in this region after the suspect who's due to appear today in court had taken over the chairpersonship of the region. Mm. Uh, about the touching of the office, it is very funny because we were the ones who were accusing them of leading. In the ANC, you need five years to be to lead in the regional executive committee. So we are the ones who are accusing and saying there are people who are not eligible to lead in the regional office as they have not to do not have five years and those who did not qualify in terms of their suspensions in the movement. So that's why I think the membership issue started. I think that's why it was the cover up for the membership issue that no, the membership must be touched in order for them to say no, there is no membership available to prove our point that there are those who are not eligible to lead the ANC. Mr. Kumala, it would seem though that uh, many of those who are killed uh, within the ANC are young leaders. I can mention uh, a few like uh, the former Youth League Secretary uh, Cindy Somakaka as well as the Mapumulo case down in Durban. Doesn't this worry you as young leaders of, of, of the ANC that perhaps your life uh, may not be that safe? It worries us very much. In fact, it worries uh, to an extent that the organization will have no future if this thing persists. Because we as the young leaders of the organization, we should be taking over the pattern from our elders. So if the young leaders are killed, if you kill your own future as an organization, I wouldn't want to say the organization is killing its own future. It's just barbaric individuals who are hell-bent 
at the grabbing power at all cost. So I would like to disassociate that from the movement because they are no more, no longer uh, members of the ANC. Members of the ANC do not do that at all. So now thank you very much for your time. Okay, thanks a lot. Thank you. There is the, the regional secretary of the ANC here in Emalahleni region, uh, Senzo Kumalo, taking us through some of the issues that are affecting the ANC here in this region, ahead of course of that court appearance of the high-ranking ANC official just inside this court a few m m moments ago. I mean, a few moments from now. It's back to you, Leanne, in the studio. Right, thanks very much for uh, the update that's happening there. That's uh, Simpiwe Makanya talking to us about that uh, court case that should be getting underway a bit later.